have no clue why that would be. Cut the camera again, by the way. <laughs> That is weird. Why in the world would you only want to do that? Okay, anyway, who am I to question? Uh, let's go ahead and just pull that to the side. Trying to figure out where. I'm going to go to the second hole. This bracket's got three holes. I'm going to go to the center one and then walk in there. I'm not even going to worry about the washer, to be honest with you. It's not a lock washer. If it's a lock washer, I'd feel it's more important. Don't break that glass, whatever you do. Note to self, put the heat bed on later. <laughs> okay. Of course that's not the right one. It's going to be the larger, the three millimeter. Okay. Extruder is in place. That is the most important part right there. Okay. So now we're coming to the LCD screen. So i take this. Yeah, those are pretty dull. By the way, I have a little trash can I'm throwing that into. I'm not just throwing it on the floor. Wink, wink. <laughs> no, I actually do have a trash can. <laughs> okay, so there is our LCD screen. And this one has an SD slot here on the side of it so that you can run it by itself. So you're not having to have it connected to a computer. So let's just set that over there for the moment. We're going to need those nylon bushings again. So we're going to need, what, four of them? Yes. I'm guessing extra part. And it says we need the knob. So I got the knob. And what about the screws? Number 22 screws. So, look among my mess here and see if I can find the 22s. I know they were the longer ones. It's 28, 30, there's 21s, 19s, 22s. Those are pretty long says we need four of those. One, two, three, and four. Excuse me. And we need M3 nuts with number 11. That's going to be over here. It's got to be an end to all these bolts and screws and nuts and stuff, right? Come on. There we go. Hey, they didn't call this a build plate for nothing, huh? <laughs> okay. I'm going to run this down just a hair. To uncover my... Yeah, that's even enough right there. Okay, that does not have threads up here. So I'm not going to have to worry about threading anything. Uh, let's go ahead and use number seven washers. It's gonna go through there. It's gonna go through there. It's gonna go through here. And it's gonna go through here. Oh, somehow that one got away from me. So we're going to put them on here, the standoffs. We're going to take our LCD screen. We're going to 
bring it in from the back. I just want to get it started on there. Make sure it doesn't fall off. Now I can raise it up, pull it in. And the screen fits nearly flush with the front of the unit. Once again, I'll find a little nut driver to get these cinched in the rest of the way. Nice if I can look back there and see what I'm doing, huh? <laughs> there we go. Tighten the top one up. Okay. That is in place. Now, need to put the little knob on it. And it looks like it uses a little screw, a little uh, flathead screwdriver tip. So let me find one over here on the little kit they gave me. Will that one fit? It's all right. It's all right. Okay. So let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna turn that down like that. Screw will fit against that flat piece. We want to make sure we have it out enough because I believe this one clicks. Yeah. So you don't want to have it completely against the, the aluminum. You want to give it just enough of a gap so that you can make that little... Yeah. That way you can select your different settings. Well, guys, I'm going to take a short break. I'll be back after I go and eat dinner and stuff like that. For you, it's going to be instantaneous. For me, it's probably going to be about an hour or so. So I will be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. So let's see where we ended off at. So we got the LCD screen mounted. And it says mount the end stops, X and Y, sorry about that, the Y and the Z axis. So we're going to need the remaining pieces here. There's that one, and then there's this one. Okay. It never. It doesn't specify what wires go to what. So as far as the color color code, I was hoping there would be something saying. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take this end stop and it's going to mount over here on the side of the unit. Got it on camera? Yeah. And once again, the, this piece will be facing toward the front. This is where the screw will go down and poke that in order to tell it where it's, when it's at its location. So what we need is number 17. And number six washers. So I need number 17 screws. And then it says two number six washers, which I. Number six, wow, I don't remember seeing number six. Let me look back at my manual here. Yep, number six, little tiny washers. There they are. Okay, so let me grab 
the right tip for this. Yep. And we took about an hour, went up to uh, Jack in the Box and grab a bite to eat. Just so my wife was able to take her lunch at the same time, so she met me over there. So that was nice. Okay. That tightened up pretty fast, but yet it's not tight. Still loose. That's not good. Still not tight. There, that tightened up. Okay. So we have that end stop in place. So I did that one with the blue wires. I figure I'd do the one with the red wires for the heated bed. Got a lot of cable management to do on this thing eventually. And this is gonna mount right like so. And it's wanting two more 17s, which I don't have. Let's see what else we've got here that we can use in place of a 17. We've got 16s. There's only two in that package, so that's... Let's see, what was the 17? 17 was a 2.5 by 12 millimeter. Okay, so let's take a look here, see if it might be one of the extra screws that were left over from one of the other deals. It had us pull out extra screws. Nope. Okay, so what I may end up having to do is I'm one screw short, I'll probably pick one up next time I'm in town. Let's make sure I keep track of which one it's supposed to be. Because 16, there's two screws left. I could use that, but I'm wondering what the 16 is going to be used for. Let's see. Because after this, we have a power supply to deal with eventually. I believe the, the power supply is mounted to the frame. <clears throat> then again, I don't know. calls for number 23. I don't remember 16s being used. Let's go ahead and just use the, the 16s. If it's a mistake, it's a mistake, but let's go ahead and just for now. I'm not even going to worry about washers at this point. I want to see if it'll actually bite into it and hold it. Yeah, it did. It's not as far in as it should be, probably, but it'll work for now. All it's got to do is have the pressure of the, this plate coming up against it. And then once it does that, that's as far as it goes. So it's not like it's going to be banging against it. So at the moment, we'll set this screw at the number 17 over there for now. Okay. 
So that takes care of that. Now it's wanting me to start doing the wiring. Step one, connect wires for motors. Connect wires for X-axis motor. Now, <laughs> this is where I gotta start figuring out what is the X-axis? <laughs> and everybody probably knows exactly what it is. I am brand new to this, so I don't know. Okay, so this is the Y-axis. So Y is going to be forward and backward. Y is going to be left and right. So that means hmm. So Y Oh wait a minute. It's, what am I thinking here? Y is still forward and backward. I'm just messing up. Let's see. So Y is forward and backward. I see. I was still I didn't go far enough back. Sorry about that. Symbol the X axis. X axis is gonna be this way. So this motor here is going to be the first one. So X, Y, Z is up and down. Got it. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to take our wiring harness for the motor. According to this, it plugs in one direction, just like so. It's supposed to go just like one direction. Let's see. Yeah, that's the direction it goes. Maybe I shouldn't have unplugged it.